it's about to get real. Okay, so we are out here today. We are in the pepper fields. Um, we had been waiting for a long time for these peppers to ripen and we kept calling. This is a big farm and we were waiting and waiting and waiting for these peppers to go ripe and we came here and she finally said yes they're ripe and um, this is only a small square these are super hot uh, Carolina Reapers and um, I think these are habaneros habaneros and stuff like that they're super hot but there's only like a section here in this field of um, where they're exactly at they didn't plant a bunch of them because obviously people don't seek them out so that's what we're doing today um, is we are picking these super hots for chili sauce and um, yeah hot sauce stuff like that so yeah but you can just see the peppers I mean they're just everywhere this is insane Okay, so I am next to these ghost puppers, and I've noticed a lot of things going on with this field. Um, there's a lot of weeds, but there's also chamomile. See this here, guys? This is wild chamomile. And chamomile, basically, it works as an antifungal. So if you have it in your garden, it's a great companion plant um, for peppers for your tomatoes it keeps fungal um, properties down in your garden so I'm actually walking through here there's like a huge driveway here and this chamomile is wild and it's just everywhere along with um, here it's chickweed um, you see chickweed all over in here and chickweed you can actually eat um, it has white flowers on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but there's also something that's deadly poisonous here as well. And you don't normally pay attention to it. But this here is um, deadly poisonous. This here is called belladonna. And um, you definitely don't want to eat that or have that anywhere around you. It's not good. It can work as a mild sedative, but it also um, can kill you. So I see that a lot of that in this field as well, and some ragweed. Um, it's just cool coming through here and trying to name um, some of these plants, um, you know, but the, um, and right here, here's some purslane, right here. And actually you see it all over here but the weeds these are weeds guys um chamomile purslane they're weeds but you can eat them i wanted to show you another up close uh picture of belladonna because the flower is distinct on it and here is another up close picture of belladonna and the flower is really okay so don't mind my hair it's a complete catastrophe but we've been working we've been doing things around the house and um let's go ahead and i'll show you garden tour Yikes. okay so this time of year um things are starting to wrap up pretty much you know things are starting to die off things are um sort of look a little unhealthy um one thing i do have to say is these um african daisies just started taking off just now started taking off and they're absolutely gorgeous probably one of my favorite flowers um in the garden here is the mint that i got um this is from um sarah over the big blue house homestead and it's doing absolutely wonderful um here is some whorehound um, these are beans that I, I planted like halfway through the season, and I'm actually going to start picking these. I got I bought a bunch of dilly, um, bean stuff, um, 
and I plan on making deli beans out of these. And in fact, this one right here, this is like perfect size. This is probably ready to pick here. And they are actually pretty good. They taste straight up like green beans. So those are pretty good. Um, moving on down here, we still have a ton of ground cherries. Um, we picked a bunch of them, like the entire, dug up the entire plant and we only left two over here and um, they're doing absolutely wonderful. And I got another um, bunch of bunch of beans over here that I need to pick and I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow. Um, I just have a lot of stuff uh, going on over here. So um, here is what's left of our tomatoes, guys. This will all get burned. Um, we had a huge um, blight problem um, with our tomatoes and they're really as of right now starting to really die out and not look so good and um, So we're picking as much as we can through here um, But for the most part this all needs to get ripped out and it needs to get burned up So we'll probably have a bonfire here before too long So they're not doing so hot But the beans are doing absolutely wonderful and um, they're really at the point now where they're ready to pick, you can see here. So those are doing pretty good. Moreover here, we are picking the last little bit of our Amish paste so we can make stuff. We still have bags upon bags in the freezer. Um, White Thomas so over here. Um, Kellogg's breakfast. I mean, some of them, they ripened so fast they just fell on the ground, some of them, and we couldn't get to them in time. But for the most part, um, it's doing great. And holy crap, I got a cucumber in here. I didn't even know I had. What the heck is going on? This garden is so weird. Nasturtium's doing great hasn't died out. There's nothing wrong with the nasturtium. The zucca gourd has stretched from over there to here. Um, that's a little crazy. More nasturtium. Let's climb up this trellis. It's doing great. And for the most part, like I said, it's keeping those um, squash bugs down. I think what I'm going to do here is harvest what I can. Um, the big, big ones I have to throw out. Um, they get rubbery um, when they when they get this big, and yeah, um, we'll probably save some seed from them. But yeah, um, they they're pretty cool, um, and they actually taste really good too. They aren't bad at all. Um, really good beans we kind of just let things go towards the end here um, I do have little bits of cucumbers here and there um, the zucker gourds are just hanging out um, we got tomatoes everywhere all this needs to be cleaned up um, they'll probably do it when it gets a little bit cooler out it's no problem whatsoever um, it's doing really good and um, yeah um, you know, this was the first year, um, that we did Brussels sprouts and they still haven't really developed anything. We tried to keep them, um, straight, um, and clipped back throughout the summer. Um, maybe we'll get them in the fall. We'll see. But seriously, I've had this planted since January and it just, there's nothing. I mean, it's just nothing. So we'll see, maybe we did something wrong. I'm not sure, maybe next year we'll do something a little bit different. Um, over here, nothing but uh, butternut squash. It's insane over here. Um, and I got a big old cucumber over here um, that I need to pick. Let's see, actually I got a couple but this is exciting because this is a straight eight and this is my first healthy straight eight that I've gotten off of here. So, um, 
Oh, there's another one down there, but that's pretty big. I don't know, but I might be eating this tonight. That sounds good. Um, I didn't think honestly that I would get anything from these because I did plant them in the middle of the year and it was, it was way too hot. So here's another straight eight. Let me take a look. Well, I don't think it's too bad, but it's a little bit deformed on the bottom. Try to pick that off here. Yeah, it's a little deformed, but I'll have a little bit of cucumbers for tonight. So that's good. It's kind of cool to get cucumbers towards the beginning of fall. Um, that's what I'd like. More Zuckerberg stuff. It's just... We got a lot of blight issues this year with lots of different stuff. Um, here is almost a ripe butternut squash. The, we'll have to start getting in here and start picking them. Um, there's lots of them that I just haven't, we haven't picked yet. So they're just getting big. And um, I'm gonna drop my cucumber over here. But, you know, they're getting big and Yeah, they just kind of taken over the entire stinking garden, which we'll learn a lesson from next time, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna try and come back through here. I need to weed whack, but you know what? When things started growing up so big, I hated to weed whack because it's like, I don't wanna kill off my plants. This is carrots in this bed, along with the hot pink Swiss chard. Um, the carrots that are in this bed um, I'm saving for over the winter, so they're going to stay in the ground. Okay, so I'm going to go through here. I always have a bee right here on these marigolds, and I feel like I just can't come through here. I'm going to harvest all of these out. Um, this is all parsley, so I'm going to take all that a lot of calendula um, calendula is really good salve you can make salves and stuff out of it um, I got borage still blooming um, strawberries are still giving me something which is insane um, look at this ever bearing it's a way to go just constantly have uh, strawberries on that um, some of the big stuff we pulled out so I have like little bunches of marigolds here and there and you see down here I think I'm just gonna pull these marigolds out um, there's just some stuff in the garden that's starting to look really bad um, towards the end of the year end of the season here um, these are more marigolds along with zinnias right here I think this king of the north pepper is ready to be picked yeah and I got a ton of bell peppers and stuff like that. This is not Spanish pepper, but I didn't see one single bud on this Spanish pepper, um, which I thought was really strange because the other ones down the way um, that I planted had peppers on them, but I don't know. We got a ton of, you can see right here, I got a ton of little bells, mini bells. I don't know if the mini bells are worth it. I don't know. Um, I don't really think they are. Um, we'll see. I got some bigger ones I just now saw. Now that is eating size. So I think I'm gonna slap some cream cheese on that sucker. Um, over here, I got some more mini bells. Um, I got cayenne everywhere. And there's some cayenne peppers. And that's all in through here. I think I have some Tabasco peppers over here that I need to check out and take a look at. This right here is ragweed. This is not good. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm pretty sure I had some Tabasco peppers. They were like little short peppers, but I can't tell right now. We have to take a look inside here and see what I got, what I don't have. Um, Spanish peppers. These are the Spanish ones and look at them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm waiting for them to turn red. Um, this one has two of them on it and um, it has a ton of blooms. 
So I'm hoping I get more. It's, it's the tastiest pepper ever, guys. It's so good. Um, over here is just a mess. Um, zucchinis and stuff, just a mess. This is still butternut squash. Look at this. It's insane. Um, I've got a little pumpkin in here. I'm just going to take a look at, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Right there. So I've got some pumpkins going on in here still. Which is good. I'm going to weigh those out. Um, here is the cabbage and the lettuce that we just planted. And it's doing wonderful. Um, this is a Brad's Atomic Grape. <laughs> that was a volunteer. And it's just sticking out of the crack here, which is so strange. Um, but yeah, so these are all the cabbage varieties and stuff like that. Um, that we planted and we also planted over here as well and I have red romaine here um, yeah and it's looking really 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 good it's just there's a lot of things that need to be corrected and a lot of things that need to be cleaned up once we get to doing that then the garden will be back on track but it's looking pretty good guys Um, let's see, I've got some, I got a paprika pepper, I believe that's what this is, yeah, I wanted to make spices and stuff out of them, got that hanging out there. And I need to clean this out. I've got some onions. I just, everything in here needs to be cleaned out. Okay, so thanks guys for coming out in this garden tour. Um, hanging out with us pretty much all summer. This isn't the last garden tour or anything like that. Um, Thanks for watching. Like I said, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you all at the next live or in the next video. Bye guys.